2 certified with Special Olympics Canada and Level 2 certified in swimming, Gord continues to update his education and his training to become an NCCP Learning Facilitator for Special Olympics Canada. An amazing mentor that other coaches aim to emulate, Gord has gained the respect of all his athletes, coaches, parents and Special Olympics Manitoba Provincial staff. If you expect the best from your athletes, you also have to expect the best from yourself. You need to go back, be recertified, trained, and upgrade yourself as, as best you can. Uh, sometimes it will cost you money, sometimes you can get funding for it, but it's highly important to be retrained. Your athletes deserve it. As head coach of the East Kildone and YMCA Men's Shark Swim Club, Gord is constantly encouraging his swimmers to improve both in and out of the pool. Gord strives to ensure his athletes have every advantage at competitions by incorporating a variety of training techniques into his practices, including weight training, nutrition seminars, cross-training opportunities, and mental prep techniques. As a result, his athletes have all demonstrated improvement in their swim times, and many have gone on to be successful at the provincial, national, and international levels. Not only have Gord's athletes advanced under his guidance, Gord has also achieved a personal goal of being selected as assistant coach on the Special Olympics Canada swim team. Because of his dedication to coaching and ensuring athletes with an intellectual disability have the skills needed to perform at their optimum capacity, we are pleased to name Gordon Stewart a finalist in the developmental category of the Coaching Manitoba Excellence Awards. Peter Grozdanovich, finalist, developmental category. Peter Grozdanovich has been coaching gymnastics for 23 years. Originally from Ontario, Peter has been coaching at the Springers Gymnastics Club in Winnipeg since 1996. Since that time, Peter has been a valuable contributor to the women's program, conducting coaching workshops and working with the provincial team. Level 4 certified in gymnastics, Peter is highly skilled in his sport. He's been my coach my whole life since I was 8 and he's just always been a positive influence on me and he's always been a positive role model and I look, like, I look forward to coming here because I know that we'll have like, a good time and a positive experience. He just has a really good perspective about um, gymnastics and life in the gym affects your life outside the gym and it's good to have a balance and I think sometimes coaches lose that perspective of what's important. As head coach for the club, he initiated and developed the tumbling program, an alternative for artistic gymnasts thinking about retiring from their sport. Without Peter's initiative, knowledge and determination to make this a viable program, it would not have been as successful. Peter is very respected within the province and is well versed in the many rules that govern gymnastics from provincial requirements to the International Code of Points. Not only does Peter take the time to share his knowledge and experience with all levels of coaches, he is also a model of fair play and professional conduct committed to his athlete's well-being. My coaching philosophy centers around developing the athlete as a whole. I think that although the coach's responsibility is to help athletes achieve their athletic goals, there has to be an understanding and a sensitivity to the fact that um, with having spending so much time with young athletes, that you have a profound impact on them when their sports careers are finished. And even throughout their sports careers, spending in excess of 20 hours a week with young athletes, it's really important to keep in mind and temper your uh, approach with that athlete to understanding that you're going to have an effect on their self-esteem. Because Peter acts in the best interest of his athletes and the rules of the sport, combined with his ability to motivate his athletes to achieve their goals, he is very deserving of being nominated as a finalist in the developmental category of the Coaching Manitoba Excellence Awards. Alex Mowat, finalist, developmental category. Alex Mowat brings with him 45 years of curling experience with over 30 years of coaching. 
During this time, he has attended many of the Manitoba Curling Association High Performance Centers seminars and workshops. Consequently, Alex is a Level 3 Certified Curling Coach, as well as an NCCP Learning Facilitator. Alex has a significant track record of his teams participating in or winning provincial championships. In 2003, he was successful in coaching the Reed Carruthers Junior Men's Curling Team to the national championships and presently his Caitlin Laws team has become a provincial contender. He's really, really good at listening to what we need and he's able to give us what we need when we tell him we need, you know, just time as a team. He organizes dinners, we go over, we sit down, relax. Uh, he likes listening to what we have to say. Well, Alex is definitely a passionate guy. Anything that he does, he puts his all into. Uh, so definitely having him as a coach, it's definitely a good motivator because if you have Alex as a coach, you want to be your best. One of the best things that I think Alex has um, inspired in me is my desire to be a coach when I'm older and to pass on the information and all the knowledge and experience that he's given me to other young curlers in hopes that they can achieve their goals too. As well, he runs his own curling school out of the Elmwood Curling Club for novice and intermediate curlers. Fully committed to his role as mentor and coach, he is a highly dedicated and organized professional who motivates his athletes to strive for excellence. Not only does Alex facilitate his team in working with sports science specialists in fitness, conditioning and sports psychology, he ensures that personal goals are included in team goal setting. I enjoy watching my athletes develop over the years um, and, and through practice and, and uh, taking out what we do at practice time and, and putting it into a game situation where we are executing and, and, and successfully winning games and whatever. But just sitting back and enjoying that moment as they play the game and play it well. And I, and I think taking from practice into the game is, is a big step for a lot of athletes. The other part of it is, is the, uh, seeing them reach their goals. And I guess for a coach, the, the happiness that I see in, in just sitting there watching them perform on the sheet of ice and, and reach those goals that they've worked so hard to attain. Alex's experience, commitment, and dedication as both a coach and learning facilitator, along with his passion for the sport of curling and respect for his athletes and other coaches, truly make him a deserving finalist in the developmental category of the Coaching Manitoba Excellence Awards. Lucien Casagrande, 10 pin bowling, Winnipeg. Barnaby Craddock, basketball, Brandon. Trevor Borland, squash, Winnipeg. Karen Sturchuk, rowing, Winnipeg. Don McKenzie, Karate, Winnipeg. Elaine Banfield, Equestrian, Oak Bank. Lucien Casagrande, finalist, high performance category. Level three certified in 10 pin bowling, 
Lucien Casagrand not only coaches 10-pin, he also co-founded the Manitoba 10-pin Bowling Coaches Association. A 10-pin bowling pro shop owner and operator, Lucien is able to handle the equipment needs of his high-performance athletes. Further to this, he plans, develops and implements the national team training sessions for the Canadian contingent in preparation for international competition. Lucien has developed and implemented a 10-pin bowling coaching aid called the Athlete Performance Analyzer, which monitors and gathers data on the athlete's competition results, allowing coaches to examine past performance and develop future competition strategies. Over the 30 years that Lucien has been coaching, he has demonstrated repeatedly that he is a considerate, honest and dedicated individual who is committed to the growth and development of 10-pin bowling at all levels in Canada. He's got commitment, he's got motivation, he's got drive, he's got passion, um, not only for himself and his athletes but for the sport of bowling as a whole and he's able to translate that to information that the athletes can use to be better at their game. I think his persistency, his character, he's a calm person, he's a positive person. Uh, he understands and he knows how he listens to his students. He understands what they need and he's able to take all of that and make that person perform at the best level that they can. He's a very supportive individual. Uh, he's very smart when it comes to the game of bowling and being able to like read different uh, lane conditions and different patterns, which with his knowledge allows us to make the correct changes uh, necessary to be able to compete and, and stay on top of things uh, in international competitions. So that way we can always do the best that we can and try to bring home as many medals as possible. Lucien's team has placed many medals at national and international events. And in 2006, his team excelled with a goal, two silver and two bronze at the Commonwealth Championships in Melbourne, Australia. My motivation is to see Canadian athletes stepping on the podium. It is very important to stay up to date. Our technology from our sport changing very, very fast. And we must, as a coach, you have to stay up to date to be able to be the best we can be. His commitment, passion and involvement with the sport of bowling shine through in many capacities. He is a coach, an athlete and a board member. Because of this, he truly is a well-deserving finalist in the high performance category of the Coaching Manitoba Excellence Awards. Trevor Borland, finalist, high performance category. Trevor Borland has been coaching squash for 14 years and is truly a professional coach. NCCP Level 3 certified in squash, Trevor is currently taking his Level 4 certification with the National Coaching Institute. Being currently ranked the number one squash athlete in Manitoba has, in turn, positively impacted Trevor's coaching. Uh, I got started in coaching when I was actually still a player. I was still a junior, about 17 or 18, and the guy that was my coach at the time, Archie Chala, was looking for help with his junior programs, his younger junior programs, and just asked me if I would help. So, at the time, I, I was just looking for a little bit of extra work and to give back to the sport, so that's basically how I got into it. With the high intensity of both the mental and physical aspects of the game of squash, Trevor pushes his athletes to the peak of their physical abilities. Because of Trevor's experience and in-depth knowledge of the game, he has had great success coaching. His leadership, coaching skills and achievements with the junior program have resulted in Squash Manitoba becoming one of the few developmental programs run through the Canadian Sports Centre Manitoba with Trevor acting as the head coach of this program. Exemplifying fair play, Trevor and his athletes respect the game, the officials and the other athletes. Not only does Trevor have strong relationships with Manitoba players, he is also admired on the national scene. Trevor is a great communicator, so he expresses himself well on and off the court. 
Um, and also he has a great knowledge of the game. He follows the game at an international level. He does a lot of reading. He watches the top guys in their videos. And through that he's able to um, really express himself to his athletes. He's just really easygoing, really friendly. But he also knows how to be strict and how to be, you know, pretty firm. But in, in a good way, just, you know, so you know, like, okay, you have to take this seriously or you have to, you know, we have to put in a full effort here because, you know, it's only going to help us in the long run. Trevor's coaching career has taken him to both national and international events, including the Scottish and British Open, as well as to the World Juniors held in New Zealand. Most recently, his athletes competed at the Canada Winter Games. In recognition of Trevor's contribution to the athletes and the sport of squash, we are pleased to name him as a finalist in the high performance category of the Coaching Manitoba Excellence Awards. Don McKenzie, finalist, high performance category. Level one certified in karate, Don McKenzie exemplifies the dedicated coach. For more than 25 years, he has been actively involved in karate and has taken the sport back to its grassroots as an art, openly teaching all athletes what it takes to be successful. Provincial and national team coach Sensei McKenzie has trained athletes into national champions. With his extensive training as a fifth degree black belt, Don is able to improve the talents of advanced athletes and ultimately making Manitoba one of the most competitive provinces. Consequently, Don has coached the Canadian national team at Pan Americans and World Championships. I feel he's been a successful coach uh, just because of his drive. Uh, he just has a certain way to, I guess, keep you moving, keep you motivated. Just the energy he possesses, he always comes in, good attitude. Well, he's incredibly positive. He can look at any situation and, and find the, you know, the silver lining kind of thing. He didn't do any of this looking for any kind of adulation. He does this because he loves it. He does it because uh, he likes the people. He likes to be able to help people. He likes to see people grow up and, and go through uh, you know, the various tries, trials and tribulations of getting to a black belt. Don's understanding, motivation, and knowledge have brought individuals to the best of their abilities. He is highly respected for his charisma, leadership, and sense of humor. Because of Don's commitment and dedication, his athletes have achieved many victories, both personally and in the ring. He encourages his athletes, win or lose. Uh, since I first started coaching, my coaching style has gradually changed over the years. Um, one thing that is important that I've learned is to uh, uh, learn how to communicate with each athlete on an individual basis. I've learned to uh, uh, set expectations and be very clear on that. I now purposely try to present myself as a coach uh, who is confident, who is decisive, who is very fair, and I've learned to use humor and uh, patience. Don has coached, served on many boards and committees, organized events, and conducted many athlete development programs. Because of Sensei McKenzie's determination and hard work, he has taken karate to a new level in Canada, and as a result, Coaching Manitoba proudly supports him as a finalist in the high performance category of the Coaching Manitoba Excellence Awards. Omar Constant, Manitoba Aboriginal Coach of the Year.
Omar Constant is a level two archery coach from Opasquia Cree Nation in Northern Manitoba. Throughout his six years of coaching, Omar has built the now year long archery program at OCN from the ground up with participant memberships now ranging from seven years old to adults. It's a lot of dedication. Uh, it's a commitment. You have good values. From my side of it, uh, I want to be able, to, as part of our values, like for First Nation people, it's kind of like a tra tradition to, you know, showing those values back to the kids. As long as you can teach them and show them the respect, you know, you're getting Team OCN going and walking around that 3D uh, course, but we're not really telling the kids, you know, pick up your garbage, don't watch your language, you know. If, uh, be quiet, yeah, everything's come natural to them and that's what I've seen in the last five years since we started this uh, coach. Additionally, Omar is actively involved as a competitor and trainer for young people in the local community's traditional winter and summer festivals. In 2006, Omar coached the archery team that attended the North American Indigenous Games in Denver, Colorado. Omar's knowledge of his sport and of his athlete skills was proven when each of his team members came home with medals. Omar needs to be commended for his positive coaching and representation of Team Manitoba as he served as a role model for all the coaching and mission staff while maintaining a high level of focus and attention on his athletes. What Omar has taught me was to uh, not get down on myself and uh, Keep, a, keep on striving towards whatever I have to do to make myself a better shooter. Omar was very inspirational to the athletes. He reminded them of where they came from, why they were going to Denver, and that they are representing the Aboriginal community of Manitoba, which in itself is an honor. His enthusiasm and energy was contagious to all the participants.